Let's do a quick quiz. Look at these sentences and tell me which one is the most appropriate. Do you say, he and I are walking down the street? Or him and I are walking down the street? That is sentence number one. Number two, our uncle is coming to pick up my cousins and me. Or is it our uncle is coming to pick up my cousins and I? Sentence number three, can you help my friend and me with our homework? Or can you help my friend and I with our homework? Number four, my sister and I are getting married tomorrow. Or my sister and me are getting married tomorrow. Number five, which is the last sentence. My mother-in-law has not seen her son and me for a while now. Or my mother-in-law has not seen her son and I for a while now. Comment your answers in the comment section down below and we'll correct the exercise at the end of the video. 703, confirm ready for descent. Roger, descent level light zero, report Abby Mahmoud. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this new video. I'm back now. In this video, I'll teach you some personal pronouns, um, subject pronouns and object pronouns and how to use them in sentences. Hopefully at the end of this video, you won't confuse those anymore. The quiz at the beginning was a beginner level exercise and its purpose was to check your understanding of subject pronouns and object pronouns. I'm already curious to know what your score is. In general, personal pronouns are used to replace nouns in sentences. They're used to replace places, things, people, those are called nouns. If you watched my last video, you already know that. So these pronouns help us avoid repetition. They help us make our sentences clearer and shorter. For example, look at this paragraph. Ramses drinks coffee every morning. Ramses believes it's a good way to start the day off. Who agrees with Ramses? These are three sentences. I'm talking about Ramses. In every sentence, I have repeated Ramses once. It sounds a little unnatural. Now, let's try it again by replacing Ramses with the correct or the appropriate pronouns. Ramses drinks coffee every morning. He believes it's a good way to start the day off. Who agrees with him? Look at how I have replaced Ramses, the name of a person, a proper noun, with the appropriate personal pronouns. In the second sentence, Ramses is the subject. So I replaced Ramses with a subject pronoun, he. In the third sentence, Ramses is the object. So I replaced Ramses with an object pronoun. Him. The initial paragraph was so unnatural when spoken. Now it's a little more natural, it's clearer and it's shorter. Subject pronouns are pronouns which perform the action in the sentence. So these are the personal pronouns in English. I, first person singular. You, second person singular. He, she or it, Third person singular. We, first person plural. You, second person plural. They, third person plural. Subject pronouns are used to replace nouns which are subjects in a sentence. I'm talking about nouns that perform an action. For example, Ramses drinks coffee every morning. Ramses is the subject. It is Ramses who drinks coffee every morning. So if you want to replace Ramses, you use he. Third person singular, male, you use he. If Ramses were a woman, you would say she drinks coffee every morning. For example, Christelle drinks coffee every morning. She drinks coffee every morning. 
Another example, my parents are not in your room right now. They have gone out. They, third person plural, it replaces my parents. Third and last example, a stranger knocked at the door yesterday. They were looking for my neighbor. So in this case, because you can't tell the gender of the stranger, you use they, which is normally third person plural, but in this case, it is also a gender neutral pronoun. You use they in cases where you can't tell the gender of the pronoun. Here, we talked about a stranger. You don't know if it's a woman or a man, so you use they to refer to the stranger. A stranger knocked at the door yesterday. They were looking for my neighbor. You don't say he was looking for my neighbor. You don't say she was looking for my neighbor. You don't know whether it's a woman or a man, so you say they were looking for my neighbor. Look at our paragraph again. In the third sentence, we use him to replace Ramses. In this sentence, it is not Ramses that performs the action anymore. Ramses receives the action. Who agrees with Ramses? So in this case, you can replace Ramses with a pronoun, but this time it's an object pronoun, him. So here are the object pronouns in English. Me, first person singular. You, second person singular. He, her, or it, third person singular. First person plural, us. Second person plural, you. Third person plural, them. So examples of sentences with object pronouns. My brother took me to church regularly when I was little. Me is an object pronoun. It refers to me. Second example, this YouTube channel is my little baby. I love it. It is loved here. So it is replaced by the corresponding object pronouns, which remains it. Let's go back to the example with the gender neutral pronoun. A stranger asked for water yesterday. Water was given to them. We use them and not him or her because we do not know the gender of the stranger. Them here is the gender neutral object pronoun. A lot of people confuse these pronouns. Um, I did a, a quiz, a similar quiz on Instagram last Friday and most of the participants had the wrong answers. So let's go back to our quiz now and look at the sentences again. Let's start with sentence number two. My uncle is coming to pick up my cousins and me. Now, in this sentence, you have to ask yourself, who picks up the other? My uncle picks up my cousins. So if you had to replace my uncle, um, with a pronoun, you would use he, right? He picks up my cousins and me. The reason why it is me and not I is because I am being picked up. So I here receives the action, which is why I'm supposed to use an object pronoun, me and not I. So the correct answer is my uncle is coming to pick up my cousins and me. So now let's correct our quiz, sentence number one. The correct answer is he and I are walking down the street. Sentence number two, we already did this one. My uncle is coming to pick up my cousins and me. Sentence number three, can you help my friend and me with our homework? Another tip when you want to know which one is the most appropriate, you can remove the first part of the subject for example, in this case, you ask yourself, if um, I was only talking about me, what would I say? I would ask, can you help me with my homework? Or do you think I would say, can you help I with my homework? Since the correct answer is, can you help me with my homework? Obviously, the most appropriate thing to say here is, can you help my friend and me with our homework? 
Number four, my sister and I are getting married tomorrow. And finally, number five, my mother-in-law has not seen her son and me for a while now. This is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you understood everything that I explained. These tips are going to help you to improve your level of English progressively. Don't hesitate to follow me on Instagram. I share a lot daily. Join me on Facebook too. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the video to help as many people as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>